दक्षिणा मूर्ति उपनिषद दिस उपनिषद इज पार्ट एंड पार्सल टू द ट्रेडिशन ऑफ कृष्ण यजुर्वेद द एलिमेंट ऑफ शिवा हैज बीन हाईलाइटेड इन दिस उपनिषद दिस उपनिषद इज प्रोपाउंडेड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ क्वेश्चन एयर एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स ट्रांजेक्टेड बिटवीन द सौनका एट्सेट्रा हॉर्मिट एंड द सेज मार्कंडेया वॉट हैज बीन डिस्क्राइब इनिशियली इन द सुपानिषद इज अटेनमेंट ऑफ द लॉन्ग लाइफ बाई वर्च्यू ऑफ नॉलेज ऑफ द एलिमेंट ऑफ शिवा सम क्वेश्चन हैव बीन रेस्ड इन ऑर्डर टू नो द एलिमेंट ऑफ शिवा एंड द सेज मार्कंडेया इन अ रिजॉइंडर हैज प्रिच द मोस्ट मिस्टीरियस एलिमेंट ऑफ लॉर्ड शिवा a description of him containing 24 letters 9 letters 18 letters as also 12 letters has been given in continuance the loyalty to the him king anushtuva has been explained and it has been made ex facie clear the element of shiva can be known only when a sheer reverence to the him is retained within heart in the concluding him the fruits of perceive and perseverance on upanishad has been laid down once upon a time the hermits shonaka etc has commenced a long term offering under a banyan tree namely maha bandira in the country of brahmavarta in order to acquire the element of knowledge these hermits stood on their seat most humbly and raised a question before the long lived hermit markandeya they asked o hermit how had you acquired the long life and tell us that how you feel the infinite pleasure with your life he replied that it is the knowledge of most cryptic shivas element which has bestowed me with the long life the hermits again asked what is the knowledge of shivas element who is the god of it what are the hymns what summoning it what is the japa silent recital for it what is the posture for recital what are the precautions required for the recital of shiva's element what are the means providing with that knowledge what are the things required for the recital of shiva's element what is the offering prescribed therefore what is most appropriate time for the recital what is the suitable premise for attaining to shiva's element the hermit markandeya replied the knowledge of most mysterious shiva's element appears with his southern mouth dakshina mukha the god of this knowledge element is competent to cover this whole universe within him at the time of great devastation mahapralaya and he always live self illuminating and self enjoying in the soul some examples providing with the perception the purified knowledge through hymns are being given in the successive hymns the hymns revealing the mystery has been now described lord brahma is the hermit to this hymn of dakshinamurti knowledge gayatri is the rhyme and god is dakshina mukha one should summon the hymn on the entire organs of the body the syllable om namaha should be pronounced the syllable om namaha should be pronunciated and then the word bhagavate is to be recited therefore in a siriya team the word dakshina then murtaye then this singular number of the 
fourth pada of the word asmad that is mahyam and finally the padas that is medham pragyam should be recited then the letter pra and the seed of the wind ya and the pada ch and finally the wife of the fire that is swaha pada should be pronunciated thus this is a manu hymn containing 24 letters thus this hymn in its complete form is om namo bhagavate dakshinamurtaye mahyam medham pragyam prayachha swaha meditation i pray dakshinamurtaye lord shiva of white complexion analogous to the silver and swatika species of gem under his possession the posture of knowledge the learning that provides with immortal element and akshamala made of pearls lies he has three eyes the moon resides on his forehead the snakes have covered his waist region and he appears in multiform i meditate on him under this presumption of lord shiva procedure for summoning the him on various organs of the body firstly the ab initio letter of veda that is om should be recited and used with the visarga then the compound of five letters that is dakshina murtehi is to be recited the pada atara with the visarga should be pronounced and finally the tara that is the om is to be recited it is the manu him containing nine letters we meditate on lord shankara who is enthroned under the banyan tree in the posture of keeping his one hand on the pubic region who has held an axe and the posture of hyena in both hands and the posture of rendering fearlessness through the other hand who has wrapped king cobra on his west region and the moon of second day of fortnight dvitiya is enshrined within his hair his body is as white as the milk he has three eyes and he is always surrounded by the hermits and saints like shuka etc may that god clean our heart and provide us with the benevolence now the manu him containing 18 letters is described while reciting this him one should very first blotter taram that is om then bloom namaha thereafter the seed of illusion that is rin speed of speech n dakshina murtaye and gnanam dehi should be recited respectively finally the pada swaha should be recited thus the complete hymn so recited is om bloom namaha rin n dakshina murtaye gnanam dehi swaha om bloom namo rin n dakshina murtaye gnanam dehi swaha this hymn is most confidential and mysterious among all hymns meditation may the lord dakshina murti always protect us whose entire body has become white owing to smearing the ash who has held the moon on his head whose hands are equipped with garland of rudraksha 
लायर होली बुक एंड हु इज इन द पॉस्चर ऑफ नॉलेज फर्दर हुज कम्प्लेक्शन इज फैसिनेटिंग बाय द डिसेंट टावेल विच इज फाउंड विद द योगीज एंड हु इज एंथ्रोन्ड ऑन द चेयर ऑफ व्यासा द हिम्स फॉर समनिंग दैम ऑन डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ बॉडी आर इन अ सीरिया टीम ओम रिम श्रीम रमाबीज सांब शिवाय तुभ्यम एंड द स्वाहा द ट्वेल्व लेटर्स कंटेनिंग मनु हिम इज ओम रिम श्रीम सांब सदा ओम रिम श्रीम सांब शिवाय तुभ्यम स्वाहा फॉर मेडिटेशन इट शुड बी presumed that i pray lord shankara who have held liar holy book and akshamala in his hands whose one hand is in the posture of fearlessness and whose region of throat is fascinating like the thundering cloud of dark color who is greatest among the great king cobra is wrapped round the region of his waist who is seated under bunny and tree and surrounded by the saints like shuka etc nyasa summoning the him on the different organs should be performed with the knowledge that the saint to this him is lord vishnu rhyme is anushtubha and the god is dakshina mukha the seriya team to recite this him is firstly recital of om then namo भगवते तुभ्यम देन वातमूल देन वासीने वागीशाय महाज्ञान दाईने माईने एंड लास्टली नमः व्हाट शुड बी रिसाइटेड दस द कंप्लीट फॉर्म ऑफ द हिम इज ओम नमो भगवते तुभ्यम वातमूल वासीने वागीशाय महाज्ञान दाईने माईने नमः दिस इज द किंग हिम अनुष्ठुभ इट इज सुप्रीम एमंग ऑल अदर हिम्स द प्रोसीजियर फॉर मेडिटेशन इज वी मेडिटेट ऑन लॉर्ड शिव फॉर अटेनिंग टू द डिजायर डेस्टिनेशन हु आर रिसाइडिंग अंडर द बनियन ट्री हु इज द फर्स्ट प्रिमेटिव मैन who is looking excellent with hands holding the posture of fearlessness the book and the dreadful snakes poisonous to the extent fire itself who is always happy whose chest is fascinating with the garlands of pulse who have the crown of moon who destroy the effect of the ignorance and who cannot be known merely by the words in the silent posture the loyalty is only existed when the yogi takes care of the realization to the effect that i myself is that supreme soul standing life long the means of knowledge is a continuous japa of manu hymns with the presumption that these hymns are inseparable to the perfect knowledge para brahma to concentrate on that supreme soul too is the entire material or apparatus for acquiring this knowledge to establish a perpetual check on the temptations of sensory organs and employing them on the benevolent acts is only the offerings the three abodes the ego the ignorance and the position conscious are in the apparent and micro form too are the kala time this hymn with 12 letters too is the real premise as the heart of as the heart or sahasrara is the only premise suitable for attaining the supreme soul those hermits again raised a question before sage markandeya that how does it arise what is nature and who is its priest saint yagnavalkya replied a lamp of knowledge of the oil of detachment and the vartika the cotton strip of devotion luminates with the inspiration fire of knowledge that is 
the equally omnipresence of divine entity is seen in the form of soul. The knowledge, devotion and the detachment are the essential ingredients for perceiving the God. The lamp of the soul automatically starts illuminating because with the entrance of these ingredients the darkness of ignorance is removed forever. One should make endeavor to know the cryptic meaning that is the inherent supreme element in order to remove the darkness of ignorance by churning in the sea of detachment through a log of knowledge. The perception of that supreme element is only possible when one has engaged himself for obtaining the knowledge and compliance with the rules of detachment. Thinking on the supreme element too is a string that fastens the Saturn of attachment who is frightened and anxious of the duality which Markandeya in the form of discretion revives by thinking on the supreme element even if trapped by the death. It means thinking on the element of soul gradually establishes the concerned devotee within the supreme soul thereby the supreme pleasure is enjoyed. The wit in the form of element knowledge that illuminates the Brahma is called Dakshina. It is a gateway or the mouth to perceive the Brahma. This is the reason the persons knowing Brahma has named it Dakshina Mukha Shiva. The Prajapati Lord Brahma had worshipped just at the beginning of this creation Srishti to Dakshina Mukha Shiva. He could get the power to create this universe only as a result of this worship and the blessings that came forward. Thus, Lord Brahma realized the supreme pleasure on completion of his resolution. Hence, Prajapati Brahma is the only priest by Dakshina Mukha Shiva. The person who recites this most secret learning, that is Shiva's element, get rid of all evils committed in the previous births, and the person who establishes deed identity with it by virtue of continuous thinking and digesting attains to the emancipation. This is pronounced by this Upanishad. Iti Dakshina Murti Upanishad Samapta Om Tatsat.